Hello everyone. In the last tutorial, we have discussed about method overloading, right? In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about method overriding. Okay. And to understand the concept of method overriding, you need to know the concept of inheritance because method overriding is based on inheritance. And what is inheritance? What are the types of inheritance? I have already explained in a previous tutorial and link you can find in a description of this video. So first watch that video so that you can clearly understand the concept of method overriding. Okay, so let's begin. And these are the points that we are going to discuss. Okay. So first we are going to discuss about what is method overriding. Okay. Then we will see purpose of method overriding. And then we will discuss about the rules for method overriding. And at the end we will see simple example. Okay. So first we are going to discuss about what is method overriding. So let's understand it with the help of an example now assume that father decided to give his old car to his son permanently okay and son also glad to have his father's car but son is not satisfied with the color of that car because the color of that car was getting faint then son decided to change the color of that car so that it's look better so basically son can modify his father's car as per requirement Similarly, in Java, we can modify parent class method in a child class as per child class requirement. That means, let's create one parent class, it's a vehicle class and create one child class, it's a car class. And there is one method in a parent class, it's a apply paint and the task of this method is applying white color paint to the vehicle. And this method is by default available in a child class because the child class that is a car class extend vehicle class and hence the methods of vehicle class by default available in a child class. So in this situation what can we do? We can simply change the definition or we can say the implementation of child class method and it's applying red color paint to the car. Okay, so here parent class method definition is applying white color paint to the vehicle and the child class method definition is applying red color paint to the car. Okay, so here we have redefined or we can say modify the parent class method in its child class as per child class requirement and it's nothing but the method overriding. So basically method overriding is to modify parent class method in its child class as per child class requirement or we can say method overriding is to redefine parent class method in its child class as per child class requirement. So simply keep in mind in Java overriding means to override the definition of an existing method. Okay. So this method that is the child class method is called the overriding method. And the parent class method is called overridden method. Okay. But remember, if you want to override the parent class method into a child class, then you must be follow some rules. And I will explain one by one all the rules further in detail. But before that, first we are going to discuss about the purpose of method overriding. And then we will discuss about the rules. Okay. So as we discussed earlier, method overriding means to modify parent class method in its child class as per child class requirement, right? Now question comes that why do we need to override the parent class method in a child class? That means we can create a new method in a child class as per child class requirement instead of overriding it, right? So why do we need to override the parent class method? So what is the purpose of method overriding? Okay, so let's understand. So let's imagine you are a software developer and you develop a mathematics program that print all even numbers and you sold your program to a specific company. Okay, and your program is working well on a company side. No issue in that. But after some days, the requirement of company has been changed. And now they wanted to print all odd numbers instead of even number. So in this situation, what can you do? So here overriding method will do magic for you. 
okay that means you just need to modify the overriding method instead of modifying the whole entire code of a program that means you can put your logic or implementations in overriding method without touching the entire code of a program so basically you can easily modify the overriding method as per your need or as per your requirement without touching the rest of the code of a program and this is the main purpose of method overriding so simply keep in mind in java rather in object oriented programming the meaning of overriding is to override implementations or behavior okay now let's imagine if method overriding concept is not available then what will be the scenario okay so in that case you will have to create a new method each time as per requirement of child class so whenever your requirement will change then each time you will have to create a new method to put new implementations right and we know that in a single program there can be multiple child classes and for each child class you will have to create new method to fulfill the child class requirement and due to this the code can become lengthy and complicated to understand so instead of this it's better to override the parent class method in a child class as per child class requirement so that you can easily modify parent class method in a child class as per requirement clear now let's discuss about the rules for a method overriding okay so first rule is there must be inheritance relationship between parent class and child class that means there should be is a relationship between parent class and child class same as we create here see here we have taken one vehicle class it's a parent class and one child class is a car class okay so here we can say car is a vehicle right so here creates is a relationship between vehicle class and car class so whenever we want to override the parent class method into its child class then compulsory there should be is a relationship between parent class and child class okay because method overriding only happen in a child class and it cannot be done within the same class and second rule is a name of overriding method must be same and the third rule is the parameter list of overriding method also must be same okay and the fourth rule is the overriding method must have same return type or a subtype so what is the exact meaning of subtype i will explain in a future tutorial because it's related to covariant return type and this is the another concept of method overriding so i will explain it separately so for now just keep in mind the overriding method must have same return type or its subtype and the fifth rule is the final method and a static methods cannot be overridden that means if parent class method is declared as final or a static then we cannot override it in a child class so for better understanding i will explain this point practically okay and the sixth rule is the private method cannot be overridden that means if parent class method is declared as a private then we cannot override it in a child class so basically to achieve method overriding we must follow these rules okay and i will explain this point also practically okay now let's do it practically so first we are going to see what is method overriding and to understand the concept of method overriding we need to know about inheritance because method overriding is based on inheritance okay without inheritance method overriding is not possible so first i am going to explain about inheritance in short okay so in inheritance one class can get or inherit properties that is variables and behavior that is methods from another class okay and it's possible only when we use extend keyword between that two classes okay so to achieve method overriding let's create one parent class and one child class so here i have already create one parent class and it's a vehicle class okay and one child class is a car class and car class that is a child class extend parent class and it's a vehicle class okay and there is a method in a parent class is apply paint and the job of this method is applying white color paint to the vehicle 
and we know that in inheritance the parent class method is by default available in child class okay so here in child class also there is a method apply pend that is inherited from a parent class okay and the job of this method is also same as that of a parent class applying white color paint to the vehicle okay now we are going to see what will be the output of these two methods so for that we need to create object of parent class to call parent class method okay so we can write like this vehicle and then call the method so vehicle dot apply paint okay so when we execute this code then this method get call and invoke this parent class method and we will get the result because we call this method using parent class object and hence parent class method will invoke right now let's run the code now see here the parent class method output is applying white color paint to the vehicle similarly we are going to create child class object to call child class method okay so we can write like this so car dot apply paint okay so when this method get call then invoke the child class method okay because here we are using a child class object to call a child class method now let's run the code again now see here output of child class method is also same as that of parent class method so here we are getting same result from both the methods parent class method and child class method because both the methods are same okay and the definition that is implementation of both the methods are also same that's why we are getting a same output from both the methods okay but the problem is that i don't want to apply white color paint to the car okay that is i want to apply red color paint to the car that means child class is not satisfied with this parent class method okay so basically child class requirement is to apply red color paint to the car instead of white color paint okay and hence we need to modify this method as per child class requirement okay and hence we need to change the implementation or definition of this method or we can say we need to modify this method to fulfill child class requirement so here i am going to change definition of this method that is i am going to redefine this method okay so here we can change red color paint to the car okay so here we redefine a parent class method in a child class as per child class requirement and it's nothing but the method overriding so basically to modify or to redefine a parent class method in its child class as per child class requirement is called method overriding okay so this parent class method is called overridden method and this child class method is called overriding method okay now let's run the code now see here the outputs of both the methods are different right because the implementations or definition of both the methods are different that is behavior of both the methods are different so basically multiple methods having same name can behave differently and it is possible because of method overriding right so in this way we can modify parent class method in its child class as per child class requirement and this concept is nothing but the method overriding okay but to achieve the method overriding in a program we can only change the implementation of method but the method name parameter list must be same okay that is suppose if we pass parameter to this method suppose it's a string color now this method is not considered as a overriding method so basically parameter list of overriding method must be same now as we discussed earlier final and static methods cannot be overridden this means if we declare parent class method as final then we cannot modify this method in a child class because in java meaning of final keyword is non changeable that means we cannot change or modify final methods so if you don't want to override any method in a program then simply declare that method as a final so that no one can override that method so just keep in mind final means non 
exchangeable. Now let's check it out. So declare this method as a final. Okay. Now let's run the code. Now see here compiler raise an error. Java dot lang dot incompatible class change error. Okay. And here car override final method. Okay. Similarly, static method also we cannot override because static method is belong to a class. That means static method is work for class, not work for an object. And to call overriding method, we need to use object. And as we discussed earlier, if we have to call parent class method, then first we need to create parent class object. And then using that object, we can call parent class method. Similarly, to call a child class method, we need to create a child class object. So basically, at the time of compilation, compiler decided which method has to be called depend on object on that we call a method. If method is called using parent class object, then compiler invoke parent class method. Same compiler do for child class also. So basically, to call overriding method, we need to create object, right? And static method, we can call without creating object because static method belong to a class, not belong to an object. And hence, we can call a static methods without creating an object. Let's check it out. Now, let's declare this method as a static. Okay. So, here. Okay. Now, let's run the code. Now see here compiler raise an error. This instance method cannot override the static method from vehicle. Similarly, we cannot override private methods because private methods we cannot access outside the class. That means private methods are not accessible outside the class. And we can only access private methods within a class. Okay. So let's check it out. So let's declare this method as a private. Okay. Now let's run the code. Now see here compiler again raise an error. Java dot lang dot error. Okay. The method apply paint from the type vehicle is not visible. That's all. This is about the basic of method overriding. I hope you understand the basic concept of method overriding. And for more help you can refer my notes that I have mentioned in the description of this video. Okay. So, in the previous video, we have learned about method overloading, right? In this video, we have learned about method overriding. And in the next video, we are going to learn about most important concept and its polymorphism. Because polymorphism is based on method overloading and method overriding. Okay. Now, I am going to end this session. So, keep learning, keep growing and thank you so much for watching.